Hey there everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I print ABS plastic without an enclosure. I've got a Creality Ender 5 S1 and a Ender 3 V2 both printing ABS at this moment without an enclosure and I get regular successful prints from that. First we're going to go over the Ender 5 S1. Now the Ender 5 S1 came with this black bed right here. It has a magnetic bed and these beds heat up and the prints break loose whenever they cool down. But the number one upgrade that you have to make to this printer is the PEI bed. That's the gold beds that you see on Amazon. And those are also magnetic. They have a much greater grip than the stock bed and they also let go very easily whenever they cool down. Now, when it comes to the glass bed, on the Ender 3 V2. I, for a while, was able to get successful prints with just a glass bed, but started going running into some issues and I now take the glue stick method. Now, I was always against the glue stick and I just assumed that the best way to print is to print this thing properly, have everything leveled as best you can in order to print on a bare glass bed. What, but with an ABS uh, with an ABS spool, it becomes much more difficult. Now let's talk about the things that is gonna be universal to printing ABS without an enclosure. And some of these rules even apply with an enclosure. The first one primarily being never run your cooling fan. The ABS cannot be exposed to fast changing temperatures. The ABS needs to remain as constant as possible and it almost pretty much needs to cool at its own rate. The typical reason why you need an enclosure to begin with is because you need a constant warm heat. You cannot be exposed to drafts. So rule number one, the biggest one, do not put this under an air vent or in an air conditioned room where the vent will blow towards the printer. It needs as little drafts as possible in a still room. I also recommend when printing ABS to put the printer in one of the warmer rooms of the house. We've all got one and it just seems to work out better. Another useful tool is a humidity meter. Whenever you're running your printer indoors, if your humidity is not in a very good place, you're not gonna have as successful of prints. I originally used to print in my garage where my humidities would exceed 60, 70, sometimes even 80%, especially if the garage door was open here in Florida. Humidity tends to not make the print stick very well. And also with ABS, it is very prone to warping where sections of your print will lift off. I also recommend when starting out, trying to figure out how to print ABS without an enclosure to start with your printer bed heat at 110 degrees Celsius the maximum for most of these printers. And from there, after you start seeing results, you can lower that bed temperature in order to shorten that warm up time. With the PEI build plate, I'm actually able to do some printing with 90 to 95 degree bed temperature. However, with the glass build plate on the Ender 3, I always have to run it at 110 degrees. And those heat up times can get pretty long whenever you're going to 110 degrees. My theory, by doing this, you're actually reducing that shock, that initial temperature drop from the 255 degree nozzle tip, which is around what I like to run, to the 110 degree bed. Whenever you print uh, with a cooler bed, that is more of a shock to the ABS and can make it more prone to lifting. Ultimately, it's not recommended by most manufacturers, Creality specifically, or really any, I think for that matter, to print ABS without an enclosure. But it is definitely possible, although some people will say that it is not. I was concerned that when I moved from the Ender 3 V2 to the Ender 5 S1, that I may not get the exact same results. However, I was able to dial the Creality Ender 5 S1 in so that I could start getting more positive results. Ultimately, if you do not want to purchase an enclosure, there are other filaments that are great for printing. PETG, for instance, has much less fumes than ABS. You can still run the cooling fans and you still get UV protection as well as strong parts, much stronger than PLA. That is just 
my uh, opinions on how I print ABS and how I was able to make it work for me. I hope this video helped you. Any questions, leave it down in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. We're also gonna be doing a comparison video between the Ender 3 V2 and the Ender 5 S1 here in the near future. Thanks a lot.